What is going on guys? Welcome back. My name is AJ and you're watching the Baby Doo Garage and in today's video we're going to be working on the E4603 and more specifically we're going to be installing an oil catch can on it. If you haven't done it already, I guarantee you by the end of this video you're going to wish you had. You definitely don't want to miss out on this one. So stay tuned. guys if you clicked on today's video you already know what we're here to do we're here to work on the e46 m3 and more specifically we're installing an oil catch can on it now if you haven't done this modification already i guarantee you by the end of this video you're going to run out and want to do it now of course i'm going to give you more context on this but of course i'm going to give you the good let me give you the bad i'm going to give you the nerdy details on why you need to do it and do it now but before i do you gotta go down in the comment section down below you gotta hit that subscribe button hit that alert button so you can be alerted every single time i upload a video so with that out the way let's get into the video all right guys so it's 2020 i'm fairly certain that each one of you enthusiasts out there has probably heard of an oil catch can i'm not bringing any new information to your ears you've probably seen them on twin turbo or turbocharged engines and there's companies out there telling you exactly why you need one and you've never ever considered one for your s54 but to understand this application for the s54 we kind of have to go back and and look at what an oil catch can actually is and what it actually does. The oil catch can is basically an enlarged version of a PCV system. It catches the oil vapors that get past the combustion chamber and prevent them from going into the combustion chamber, otherwise resulting in lower gas mileage and less octane, which generally results in less horsepower. So we kind of understand that. We understand that oil catch cans are good and blow by is bad and the s54 is not a turbocharged engine so what are we even talking about here wrong wrong now while the s54 is not a turbocharged engine it is a very high strung performance motor keeping that performance ideal in mind it revs to 8,000 rpm and as these engines wear over time what also wears yeah piston rings tolerances tend to get a little looser and you get a little bit of natural blow by by the piston rings that just naturally happens as these engines age now this modification is more for the daily drivers, the weekend warriors, uh, the track guys that go out and beat on these old engines that could be giving up potential horsepower and potential MPGs uh, down the line. But but don't take my word for it. All you have to do is go out on the forums and you'll see instead of using YouTube as your primary example because there's literally like three videos on YouTube at all regarding this particular topic, you have to take your focus and direct it to the old school forums. Those of you guys that have installed cold air intakes on your E46 M3, you've seen it. You just didn't realize it. A really big inspiration for me starting my channel was S54 Sean, or Sean S54. I'll leave him down in the description down below. I'll give him the credit for this particular topic. Um, after about a thousand miles of driving, he accumulated somewhere in the realm of about uh, two to three ounces of blow by. That is an enormous amount. So that's what we're doing today. We're installing an old catch can on the car because honestly, I don't want that stuff going into my combustion chamber. So with that being said, we're gonna get downstairs, we're on the E46 and we're gonna get to work. So let's get it. Guys, you're probably wondering why I pick this particular catch can over the hundreds that you can find on Amazon and on eBay. Um, the fittings are integrated into the cap. I was trying to do my very best at not introducing any more potential vacuum leaks than necessary. So that means uh, that this will not be a point of leakage. So that is the primary reason. I know it's not the best looking. I know there's some better ones out there that have kind of a dipstick to tell you the level, but honestly, I'm going to be changing this out. I'm going to be emptying this out periodically, so I'm not going to be waiting that long. So there's really no need to have that dipstick kind of a gimmick if you ask me if you need to empty it you need to empty it. if you need to check it you need to check it it's just that simple so that's why I chose this one for those of you guys that are gonna ask 
As far as mounting is concerned, my plan was to mount it somewhere in this region. Now I know a lot of people like uh, S54 Sean, he installed his catch can on this back plate right here. This thing is a little flimsy. I don't think that I want to go that route. I think it'll be totally fine because the catch can doesn't weigh that much. And the plan was to utilize one of these holes that are already in the firewall here with maybe a uh, rip cert. Um, maybe we'll have to enlarge in this hole. I'm thinking this is the right one there. That one's a little large. That one is capped off. We'll use it for something else. Probably, maybe not. I think we'll probably have to enlarge in the hole slightly. Just so, just ever so slightly. And that, uh, probably the same one that I used on the E36. I have some of these left over, some hardware. Uh, and then we'll be able to mount uh, the catch can on with the included bracket that came with it. I think uh, we should be able to handle this before it gets dark out. So, let's get to it. can in there. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the placement. I think it's going to be a good position. Um, the next thing we can do is plumb the lines uh, to the intake manifold uh, and the valve cover. Um, this is where the vacuum comes from. Uh, we have in and we have out. Uh, we have to just make sure it lines up with the corresponding in and out on the catch. So we got everything installed the way it needs to be. Um, the oil catch can is over in its designated place. Um, through that little channel uh, that was already built in, so it didn't have to cut anything there, so that's a plus. Ran it behind the harness right here. Um, zip tied them together just to make sure things don't move around. But other than that, I decided not to put any hose clamps on the oil catch can because the fitment is just so snug. I don't really think it's necessary since these just literally snap on and they don't really use a hose clamp. Um, inherently on the intake manifold and on the valve cover so we'll see that may prove to be a mistake but we'll find out later all in all this was a pretty easy installation nothing really difficult here uh, there's no wrong way to really set this up i imagine you can't really mess this up but i just wanted to show you guys what i did so that's gonna wrap it up for today's video hopefully you guys like today's video if you like today's video go down in the comment section down below leave me a comment let me know what you like and if you dislike the video if you happen to dislike today's video make sure you especially go down below let me know what you disliked and while you guys are down there if you haven't already hit the subscribe button hit the alert button to be alerted every single time i upload a video i was seeing today's video we talk about the oil catch can i give you the good i give you the bad i give you the nerdy details on what you need to do it and do it now but don't take my full word for it go out and do your own research hopefully this video inspired you to go out there and search for the information yourself and hopefully you guys decide to do it for yourselves anyway guys i really want to thank you for watching the beamer dude channel and as always guys peace out and godspeed